And now we're going to turn it over to Nancy. And Nancy's going to teach you how to do her auction game. And now, Nancy, take your time. This is very important. Her auction party is a great party. Nancy, do your auction party. OK. Hi, everybody. Um, I haven't done an in-home party since COVID, so I'm a, a little rusty. But I went over it all today to, so I can really show you what I do and I used to do. And it kind of got me excited to go do a party. First of all, I take pieces of Tupperware. They don't have to be huge pieces, but I get different bags. I have a Christmas bag and I have a, a little bag over here and a heart bag. Find some cute bags. Um, Marks has some really cute bags all the time, little, big. So in the smaller ones, there might be something small, but I might put something bigger in there because people think it's a smaller gift. So anyway, and you can do two, three, four, five, whatever you wanna give away. Um, and then you wanna make Tupper Bucks. And I love Loretta's Tupper Bucks because they're bright and pretty. And I had bright and pretty ones, but I, I can't find them. So I had these in my stash and these are just $100 bills. Um, and I will tell you that you can't have them the same size as dollars because they have to be really big or really small, or you can get in trouble. Cause I had a guy at an IRS work for the IRS at one of my parties and I was using them the real hundred dollar bill, but it was the same size. And he said that he could turn me into the IRS. I'm like, Oh God, really? It says Tupper bucks. But anyway, so make your own, make them cute, make them pretty, put your picture on them, whatever you want to do. So the first thing I do is I send an invitation to everybody for the party. And in that invitation, whether it's a postcard or I attach it to a monthly, however you do your invitations, um, we don't usually mail them out anymore, but you can email it to them. You can text this in a text and you're gonna tell them that it's a Tupperware auction party. So they're gonna get $100 for coming, $100 for bringing their little book back. I've always done that so I don't have to give them another monthly because they already got one in the mail um, if you're mailing invites. If they bring a friend, they get a hundred bucks. Anything that you want to reward them for these dollars. And the thing is, it doesn't matter how many bucks they get because the auction at the end of the party, there's only four or five people going to win. And then I'll tell you what I do with all the rest of the people that have some bucks left. So basically that's how I get them there. And it is different. So they come and they walk in and you'd be amazed how they pay attention. And they say, I got my book. Um, I brought a friend. I'm going to order and I get $400. And so when they walk in the door, I give them one for coming and I thank them. Say, here, here's a hundred dollars. Thank you so much for coming to Susie's Tupperware party tonight. And then I say, and, and you get 400. So I give her three more hundred right away because they're already excited walking in the door that they're going to get um, Tupper box. And I say, now just hang on to them. Don't fold them, don't bend them. Just hang on to them because you're going to get a lot more through the night. And then when I start the party, when everybody sits down, and I don't know how to do this kind of party virtually. So maybe Nikki or somebody techie can take the idea and make it a virtual because I don't know how to do that. Um, but anyway, I will um, ask some stupid fun questions that have nothing to do with Tupperware because they laugh and they're engaged in the party and they're getting to know me and I'm getting to know them without even picking up a piece of Tupperware because parties are about fun. Um, and so I always give the host $500 because she had a Tupperware party or he. I always um, say, who made their bed today? Here's $100, here's $100, who made their bed? And I walk around and I hand it to them um, if you made your bed and be honest, who brushed their teeth? Who kissed their husband or kissed their dog or kissed somebody before you walked out of the door? You just make them laugh and you make it fun. Um, another one I always used was who had a Tupperware party in the last 20 years, 10 years? The last year I give them 500 bucks. And who was your Tupperware lady? Oh, well, I'm better. No, I just joke and they laugh because you know what? It's just something to engage them, to want them to want you to have a party in their home. That's the whole purpose of all the games that we do. Then I would demo a product and I say, okay, you have a catalog. Now the first person to find the page number and how much it is gets 500 bucks. Well, they are flipping through that book. What you're doing is you're engaging them and looking through that catalog. And if you stop and see something that you really love, stand up and show me the page, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Well, now I know what Susie wants and what Loretta wants and what Pam wants because they're looking through the catalog getting engaged. 
Um, and then I always say that if you share an idea about a product that I've never heard in my Tupperware career, I'll give you 500 bucks. So at the end of the party, they have lots and lots and lots of dollars. What I do then is I say, okay, now I'm going to explain the auction. I said, but first of all, you're going to take one of my 100s and turn it over. And my name is Nancy Lagan. And what's my name? Nancy Lagan. What's my name? Nancy Lagan. I said, now I'm going to give it to you and you're going to write it on the back and raise my phone number. And I go over my phone number four or five times real fast. And they put my name and my phone on the back. And then I have them fold this dollar, this $100 bill like this, so they can put it in their wallet. And I make them take out their purses and put it in their wallet. And the reason I do that, I tell them, if you ever get to a point in your life where you open your wallet and all you have is my Tupper $100 bill with my name and number, give me a call. I'll tell you how to make 100 bucks in a couple hours out of your home selling Tupperware. They laugh, but I had people do it, okay? So you just don't know. You want them to remember you and your phone and your name. And then I always have them put my name under Tupperware in their phones. Um, they might not remember my name, but they'll remember Tupperware. And so... Um, I do that. And then at the end, what I do is I'll hold up a bag and I'll start with a little bag or a big bag. And I hold up a bag and I said, now we're going to do the auction. And I love to be an auctioneer. So if you can't talk fast, practice it, get out of breath, go up and down the steps so that you can talk really fast because that's the key. So I say, okay, this bag starts at $200. Who has $200? Give me $200, $300. Oh, $400 right over here. Raise your hand, $500. And I do that. And then I go, okay, 600 going once, 600 going twice, sold right over here to Susie. And then she takes the bag and opens it. And like what I used is I have a water bottle in one. I have a little tiny bowl in one. I have gadgets in one. And then I have another bowl. Whatever you have in your stock, use it up. Use it to date parties. Uh, if they date a party, they get $500. And I always tell them that if you date a party before I ask you to have a party, because you know I'm going to ask you, you get 500 bucks. Well, they're thinking about it all through the party. And so the auction is really fun, but now everybody doesn't win. So then they put their, their bucks down on the table, they take the bag, and then I have them open it. And then at the end of the party, they go, well, what are we gonna do with ours? We didn't get anything. I said, well, I have this big, that's a bowl. And I fill it with gadgets and little tiny bowls and smidgets and not smidgets ever. Those are only for dating, but I fill it with all kinds of goodies. And I said, now I'm going to dump it on the floor. And on the count of three, you count up how many dollars you have and everything is 200 bucks and put your money down and take something out of the bowl. And they don't have a ton left, but they have some left. And so, um, they, everybody goes home with something. So it may cost you a little more money to do a party like that, but the fun you'll have and the fun you'll create, they will want you to do a party for them with their friends. And that's the key future business. So have fun, try it. And um, I hope I, I don't have any notes. It's just in my head from years and years of doing parties, but um, people are wanting to have fun right now. So go out and have fun with it. Thanks. Oh my goodness, Nancy, that was amazing. And I will tell you people date like crazy when you do this party. And I will also share with you that when you do this party, people say to you, you're gonna do that auction party, right? That's what they say. When you do this party, you go back to the next party. Oh, you're doing that auction party, right? That is the exact words they say, don't they, Nancy? They say that to you. When you walk in the door, you're doing that auction party, right? You, did you bring your big bowl? You got those bags? <laughs> That's exactly what they say, because they want to make sure you're doing that auction party.